Dozens of officers taking part following multiple ambush attacks against police officers around the country. We'll hear from them about the dangers they face and whether they're taking any extra precautions. But first, one of those attacks was in Valdosta, where GBI agents say a man called 911 this morning reporting a car break in, then opened fire when an officer showed up. That officer and the suspect remain hospitalized tonight. WAOB News 10's Raisa Buckles is in the newsroom with new information from a neighbor who ended up with a bullet in his apartment. Ben, residents in Three Oak Apartments are still uneasy tonight, and many still can't believe a shootout between an officer and a neighbor happened right outside their home. So this is, I guess, where it came into through his room. This morning at 8 o'clock, Stephen Bowers was shocked to find bullet casings in his apartment. We heard three loud bangs. We thought they were just firecrackers or fireworks from uh, for the July weekend. But Bowers was sadly mistaken. Those bangs were gunshots. It was a frightening wake-up call for residents at Valdosta's Three Oaks Apartments. Came out of my room to see my roommate crawling on the floor and a hole in his wall. Neighbors were in disbelief that a shootout occurred right in their backyard. Kind of shocked, um, a little bit of a uh, adrenaline rush. I didn't know what was happening outside. James Simmons says he's lucky he missed most of the madness. At first, it was like, wow, I, it was a relief. And I just thought, thank God that I had just left, because usually I, would, I would probably would have stayed. Bobby Worthy was visiting a friend in the complex and knew right away something was wrong. I knew I counted 10, 15 police officers coming by, so I knew it had to be a shooting uh, for that caliber, that many police to come at that one time right behind each other. Bowers can't imagine anyone would call 911, then attack a responding officer. Kind of fishy. Something, something's not right there. He doesn't feel unsafe, but he says he will be mindful of his surroundings in the town. Bowers has no plans to move. Now, the complex maintenance staff did look over the damage today. Live in the newsroom, Risa Buckles, WAOB News 10. Valdosta officials say a bulletproof vest saved that officer's life this morning. GBI agents say 22-year-old Stephen Beck called 911 just before 8 o'clock and said he needed a police officer. Officer Randall Hancock arrived at Three Oaks Apartments at 812. Investigators say as soon as he got out of his patrol car, Beck opened fire. Two bullets hit Hancock's protective vest. A third struck him in the abdomen just beneath his vest. Bulletproof vests, they serve a role, and I think when this is said and done, we'll see that that had a role in saving this officer's life. Officer Hancock returned fire, shooting Beck. Hancock is in the hospital in Valdosta tonight. Beck was transferred to a hospital in Florida. Both are expected to recover. Neighbors who know the suspected gunman are shocked. One said he would often talk to Stephen Beck about sports and movies. Another called Beck one of the kindest, most gentle people he knows. Carrie Howard heard the gunshots and watched the resulting frenzy of activity. I, I realized it was something pretty uh, major with everybody coming out here. I mean, that was that was kind of scary just being right here this close to it and um, and really not knowing what was going on, whether there was really somebody out there running around, you know. Howard shot this video from her cell phone minutes after the shooting. We broke news of the shooting on our mobile app this morning. You can continue to follow developments on the app and at WALB.com.